I thought I'd do a quick video showing how I put the standoffs in that keeps the records uh, straight and even and from sliding out the back of the cowlix cabinets every time you try to put one back in. Now, if you remember, I put the bracing in the back using this, uh, using a one by three uh, strapping. I cut a whole pile of 13 and uh, one eighth inch uh, pieces of wood like this using uh, one by three dressed wood. And if you come around into the cabinet, there you see the uh, bracing I put across the back of the cabinets made of one by three strapping. And you take the uh, pieces of uh, one by three dressed wood, which is, uh, I cut it 13 and about a quarter, maybe 13 and an eighth of an inch. You just slide them right back in. And then when you put your albums in, yeah, yeah they're heavy. <laughs> They go right up against that and they all line up very nice and oops and fall over. And they all line up very nice and neat right along the front. No fuss, no muss, and they don't slide up the back of the uh, cabinets anymore. Now if you don't have strapping across the back of your cabinet, you can use something like liquid nails or screws or even double-sided tape. I've seen some sellers on uh, the market, they're selling just what looks like one by three with double-sided tape on it, ridiculous amounts. Uh, so if you have a chance of cutting your own, I'd do it uh, yourself. It's very simple to do, even though the uh, dressed one by threes did cost about 12, 13 bucks each. <laughs> a little bit ridiculous. The six pieces of uh, one by three strapping and four pieces of uh, one by three dressed wood cost me just under a hundred bucks here in Canada. So the price of wood is obscenely expensive. That's it for now. So long, bye-bye, and see you around on the tube thing.